Hello, modern quilters. Tonight, we're going to talk about the things you need to draft and make up setting triangles for blocks and how to do your calculations accurately. I'm a real proponent of cutting and piecing accurately and not oversizing your blocks. I think you get a better quality quilt, a nicer finished product if you don't oversize them and trim them. Instead, you cut them exactly what they should be and piece them accordingly. So, these are some measurements that you should always know. You should memorize them or bring a cheat sheet to the fabric store whenever you're using uh, drafting techniques. So, this is your 1 8, 1 quarter, 3 8, half, 5 8, 3 quarter, 7 8, and 1. And these are the inch measurements for each of those. An eighth of a, a yard is 4.5 inches. A, four, a quarter is nine inches, three eighths is 13 and a half inches, and so on down the line to 36. I will be sending a handout in email that have all of these on it that you can use. Then over here, we have again, the same measurements but these are what we're gonna to use to calculate with. So an eighth is 0.125, quarter is 0.25, three eighths is 0.375, and on down the line to seven eighths is 0.875. These are the measurements I use when I'm calculating on drafting. Uh, primarily, this is gonna be for squares, rectangles, triangles, those kind of things. Other types of drafting is similar, but this is really basic drafting a star or drafting setting triangles for your blocks. So, number one, whenever and when you're working in drafting, you always work with your finished measurement. So if I am drafting a nine patch, and I want this nine patch to end up nine inches finished. These are gonna be three inch squares finished, but I'm going to cut them three and a half. I'm gonna take my finished measurement of three inches and I'm gonna add a half an inch if it's a rectangle or a square. That's a given, it never changes, okay? If these were four inches, I'd do the same thing. If they were 12 inches and I was making a 36 inch nine patch, they would be 12 and a half inches. Most of you know that. If I'm going to make half square triangles out of these, and I'm gonna cut them exact and not trim them down, I am going to add seven eighths of an inch to my finished measurement. So if these were three and three inch blocks finished, I am going to cut three and seven eighths inch strips. I'm going to cross cut those three and seven eighths inch, and then I'm going to diagonally cut those again and that will be the exact right size if I sew accurately with a quarter of an inch to make this block. In a minute, I'm gonna talk about how to differentiate between a half square triangle and a quarter square triangle. If I was going to then make these into quarter square triangles, I'm still dealing with three inch finished blocks, but now, I'm going to add an inch and a quarter to that three inches, and I'm going to cut those at four and a quarter to get the right size. So I would cut a four and a quarter inch strip. I would cross cut that at four and a quarter, and then I would diagonally cut each of these squares to be the right size, and they would be the exact right size to finish as a three inch square, okay? This never changes no matter how big your square is. If it's 16 inches, if it's 12 inches, if it's 
five and seven eighths inches. You always add seven eighths for half square triangles. You always add one and a quarter for quarter square triangles. Okay, how do you know the difference between whether you should cut a half square triangle or a quarter square triangle? Let's say we're going to, we've got some orphan blocks and we want to make them into a quick baby quilt, but we want to make it a little bit bigger and I don't want to, I don't want to do lattice. So I want to take those blocks and I want to set them on point. So now my four little orphan blocks just made into a pretty decent sized quilt. So let's say these are the orphan blocks. Okay. Well, I have both half square triangle and quarter square triangle in this little quilt. And I know the difference between, because if I look at this picture, the grain line is always perpendicular or vertical and horizontal. And so I need to match that up to this. Well, this one, the grain line is on the short side of the triangle, right? But on this triangle, which I have four of, one, two, three, four, the grain line where I want it to end up is on the long side of the triangle. So if I was to um, complete this, this would be quarter square triangles. So like this, grain line, on the long side. That's how you know whether it's a quarter square going to be cut as a quarter square triangle or a half square triangle, is where the grain line is. Long side, cut as a quarter square triangle. Short side, cut as a half square triangle. Okay? Now, I need to know how big to cut this. So, I'm going to say that my blocks are 12 inches, these orphan blocks, 12 inches finished. So I know I take my knowns, 12 inches. And what I'm trying to find out is this measurement here and this measurement here. Well, if I take this block, there's the matching one to that. This one, I need to find out the measurement all the way across that square. So <coughs> I take the finished measurement, 12 inches, and I times it by this number. One, <coughs> excuse me, 1.414. <coughs> I'm definitely going to need the calculator for this one. Okay, 12 inches. times 1.414 is exactly <coughs> 16.968 inches, which I have to round up or down. So that's where I'm gonna come back to this and say it is between 7 eighths and one, and it's definitely closer to one. So I would call this 17 inches and that would be close enough. So I know that this measurement from here to here is 17 inches. I'm still dealing with finished measurements, not no seam allowance yet. Okay, so that means that this one is 17 inches. And if I cut that at a quarter square triangle, I'm going to need a 17 plus one point one and a quarter. I'm going to need an 18 and a quarter inch block cut this way. And I'm going to get all four of those pieces out of that with the seam allowance, the proper amount of seam allowance. Okay. So now I need to figure out this one. Well, this is half of that number because this is 17. And this is half of that. So what I would do, I want it to be accurate. So I'm going to take that 16.968 
and I'm going to divide that in half, and I get 8.484, which when I come back to here, that's between 3 eighths and half, and it's quite a bit closer to half. Sometimes I have to calculate which one is closer. So it's really, for me, it's going to be <clears throat> eight and a half inches finished. Okay, I'm going to take this off of here so you don't get confused. And I need to add to that eight and a half, I need to add my seam allowance. So I'm going to say 8.5 plus 0.875 and now I'm going to cut that at 9.375 which is 9 and 3 eighths okay so this one I'm going to cut at 9 oops and 3 eighths I'm going to cross cut that and I need two of those because I have four one on each corner now all my edge of my little baby quilt are going to be on grain line so they're not going to stretch i'm going to sew them accurately um, so they're again not going to stretch or be distorted there used to be i'm sure you're all familiar with thimble berries and i don't know if companies still do this but they used to have you way oversize your setting triangles and then hack off the excess well, what happens is when you don't have the exact fabric to sew from this one to this one and you just sew from here to here and whatever sticks out you lop it off it distorts the um, quilt so it doesn't lay flat so it's much better to have the right amount pin it sew it accurately and have it lay flat so after I'm done with this video and you're done watching I'm gonna come back on live and answer questions because I hope there will be some and um, I use this all the time I tend to not buy patterns or I tend to want to make my patterns bigger or alter them a little bit so I always need to know how to draft and what's an accurate way to do it so I just put this up here as an example I was just helping a friend the other day and she wanted to do an Ohio star this is an Ohio star they're different. This is different than a sawtooth star. A sawtooth star is based on four. It's a 16 patch. And an Ohio star is based on a nine patch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. These are all half square triangles. So that's pretty easy to draft on your own. This one has both half square and quarter square. So this one, because the grain line is perpendicular and horizontal on the short side, is going to be a half square. Another way I do this to determine what it is, I'll draw a square and I'll draw a replica of that triangle in the square inside of it. Okay, so this one, if I draw a square, I need to cut it this way to get this piece and the same with this one so i'm going to have two half quarter square triangles in each block and one half square triangle in each block if this was a 12 inch block i would start with a four inch measurement because that's the finished measurement and i would proceed to cut accordingly this would be four inches plus one and a quarter which I would cut it at five and a quarter and cross cut it twice. The half square triangle would be four and seven eighths and I would cross cut it once. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that you've learned something that you can use. Um, this comes into play a lot when I am drafting and calculating uh, fabric requirements for a pattern and things like of that nature. So I'll come on live and answer your questions. Thanks for listening.